Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have the DCS round one, and we have Paulo PRJ Goncalves versus King Gamicus, and make sure to go check out Dragon Riders Games Facebook page, the link down below at the top of the description, they're the ones that hosted the DCS, so go check them out for future tournaments, and then also make sure to go ahead and check out Paulo's youtube channel i'll leave a link to it down below in the description and let's hop right in so we will go ahead and we're gonna have to see them wait until the until the round actually starts um so we're gonna go ahead and see king win the rock paper scissors shoot and decide to go first 42 versus 40 opening hands we have imperm tanky caress fractal prosperity and then they have Imperm, Fusion, Destiny, TC Boost, Celestial, and Droplet. Okay, so... I um, can't really tell what deck this is yet. It could be like Striker, could be Invoked. Could just be way off. Um, then this is probably the Tri Brigade Melfi deck that Paulo has been playing for... Honestly, it's, it's been a pretty long time that he's been playing this deck now. Oh, uh, Fusion Destiny, go ahead, dump those, summon out Enforcer, at least it feels like a long time. And then set, pass, draw kit. I hate Celestial, yeah. Now they're going to activate Imperm Enforcer, Chain Enforcer, Pop Imperm Enforcer Graveyard Effect, and then activate Fractal Effect to go ahead and dump. It's going to dump kit, kit effect, go dump Nerval, Nerval Effect to go search, and then Nerval will go ahead and acquire out the kit. And then normal summon kit, kit effect to go banish, banish two, um, chain TC boost, now they can't summon out a beast from the extra, but they're just going to go for double dragon lords, and then activate tanky, tanky, go search fractal, now just go battle phase, attack here, yeah this is a... Uh, Getting an attack from itself and tanky, and then effect, get rid of tanky, go bounce TC boo, and then main phase two, Kuraz effect, discard, special summon, um, ah, uh, I guess like the only question I really have is like, why did the player only set TC Boo? You know why? Why didn't they also set Imperm? Like, I don't know. That would have been fairly strong. I, I don't know why you don't set this card. I guess you're playing in the, like, Harpies more? I mean, it is game one. Actually, I think Paulo is on Harpies, crazy enough, in the main deck. Um, it, may, it makes a little bit more sense to put, like, the, the one of crazy cards if you play Prosperity. But they're going to imprim this. Um... But yeah, interesting on them to decide not to set. And then Blossom effect a special summon out from the hand. Also summon out Fractal. Now they're gonna activate the Fractal effect. Banish from the graveyard, special summon out from the extra deck. Now they're gonna get rid of all of those to go for Appalooza. And then Activate the effects. So draw obedience school. So now we definitely know it's the Melfi stuff. And then set, pass, draw rota. Okay, so it's definitely striker. Droplet to try to negate double dragon lord there. Standby phase, enforcer comes out. On standby phase, they're gonna activate revolt. Revolt summon out from the graveyard. Um the blossom was well no no, no th this was properly summoned because they uh used the Kuraz and kit to summon blossom and then blossom summoned fractal fractal and the bear balloon yeah all right yep so they can summon that out then get rid of those go for omen Activate the effects, Chain Enforcer, Chain Appalooza. So, Banish, go search, and then draw, put back. Activate Rota. So, Rota, go search Ray. 
And then normal summon ray, turn that into Hayate, battle phase, attack the double dragon lords, and then activate the effect, get rid of omen, uh, omen effect to go search, go grab DD Crow. And then Hayate beat over. Um, then they're going to get the effect of Hayate, chain Appaloosa to negate that. And then main phase two, Celestial, Chain Appaloosa. I guess like at that point, they could have DD crowed Celestial. And then all they have is like Shiz. And you could just like negate that. But I also don't know what's in their extra deck. Um, end phase, Shiz effect to go search. Um, that will go ahead and grab Shark Cannon. Now they're going to activate Shark Cannon, Special Summon out Omen, and then activate Omen Effect to try to go ahead and banish. They just let that go through, draw Obedience, Schooled, and then Normal Summon Nerval. Then activate the Nerval Effect, go banish, Summon out Doom Eagle. Yeah, Doom Eagle is insane versus Sky Striker. Absolutely insane. Uh, you know, being able to go put back Ray and then go for Access Code. Or even just like Doom Eagle putting back the hero stuff. Like it's crazy versus that deck. But going on to the next game we're going to see Striker decide to go second. Um, so opening hands we have Nerval, Fractal, Nerval, Prosperity, Obedience, Schooled. They have Engage, Ash, Fusion Destiny, One Day of Peace, and Fusion Destiny. Okay. Uh, One Day of Peace is actually cool in Striker because like it's kind of like an upstart but it's for both players. And then you know you're not going to lose after that. Is a card that you could actually like side deck in the person uh, for time. And then like you know, this card's pretty crazy in time. I wonder, uh, I actually don't know what time rules Dragon Riders games are doing. If they're doing like turns, then one day's not good. But if they're doing like actual time, then one day's kind of crazy. Because you, you could like Hayate Po, kind of game, one day apiece, and like that's just game. So they're going to act the Obedience Schooled, and they're letting this resolve, so they're not going to Ash that. And then get rid of those, go for Blossom, Kit to go Dump, uh, Dump Nerval, Nerval Effect, Chain Ash. Okay. And so they wanted them to be locked in the Beasts. Activate Prosperity. Um, pros oh... Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah, do, do they drawing out? I mean, that's really all that matters at this point. Nervo effect, go banish, special summon out the bear bloom. And then they're going to get rid of those. Again, they're locked in the beast, so they have to go for blossom. Bear bloom effect, they can't activate blossom because prosperity. Go grab revolt, put back fractal. Set two, this is just straight off the obedience school, pass, draw afterburners, yeah, orders just game. Chain, and then they go ahead, show the hand. Ban Imperial Order, this is not okay. Sorry about that. GG's is part of the game. Yeah. I mean Order do be kinda crazy, especially like when you play Prosperity in your deck. Cause you can just like activate this card and like dig for floodgates and that's kind of insane, especially when your deck is uh, a deck that can put up like monster end board type things. Like if you end on like Appaloosa Revolt Order, like that's really, really, really strong. You know, compared to like this deck, whenever they activate Prosperity, they're trying to usually dig for like the way to Striker, Fusion Destiny, or like TC Boost Sanctum, which is still strong, uh, but still is not as strong as like you know, the the combo end board, obviously, but um, that is it for the round. Again, make sure to go check out Paulo's YouTube channel. And make sure to go check out the DCS Facebook page linked down below in the description. It's the Dragon Riders Games Facebook page, but they're the ones hosting the DCS. And with that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. I'll see you in the next round.